emojis. All right, glad you came back. So today is part two of the wet jerk seasoning battle. And again, this is between this version anyway, is between Grace jerk seasoning and Walker's Wood jerk seasoning. Now the Grace is the hot variety. Walker's Wood is hot and spicy. Okay, we're gonna try them out. Hope you enjoy this. Just watch what I do. And at the end, you're going to see my review. Hey, this is Charles Chiron. That's the best elevated music I ever heard. Glad you came back for what we're doing today. This is part two of the jerk marinade battle wet. Okay, this is again, this is going to be Grace uh, brand versus Walker's Wood. We're gonna see how it turns out. So this is what we got. Walker's Wood, hot and spicy. Okay, gonna give that a shot. Then you have Grace's hot. Okay, we're gonna see what it's all talking about. Um, now I've had Grace's as you already know. A Walker Wood, Walker's Wood is going to be something new to me. So we're going to try it. I mean, I tried the mild version. We're going to try the hot and spicy, see how that goes. Okay. And what I'm going to be using are some party wings, right? So they have 12 of each. I think I'm going to put them on the smoker, right? Just smoke them. They'll put a little bit of, of a pimento wood in there. Don't have any red striped beer. I didn't get any, so... It's just gonna be just heavily on the sauces. Having said that, let's get this marinade. All right, so what we're gonna use, since we just have about, just over a pound of each of the chicken, we're only gonna put a couple teaspoons and about a tablespoon of canola oil. Okay, there's your walker's wood. Grace. Yep. Our canola oil. And now we're just gonna mix these up. Okay, let the air out of this guy. Okay. Walker's wood. Come up. Okay. Here out. Now these are going in the fridge. Now, what I did want to mention, um, the graces, that familiar smell, you smell a lot of um, uh, nutmeg, allspice, allspice is definitely dominant in it. Um, a little hint of cinnamon, and a walker's wood, Walker's wood it has more of an earthy, like a, I don't know why it, it, it smells more like um, mushroom, if that makes sense. Or if you ask the peanut gallery, if you say it's, it tastes or smells earthy, they'll say, oh, so it's dirt. That's what it smells like. Great kids, they, you know, they'll be honest. And if you think about it, if someone said this smells real earthy, it yeah, it smells like dirt, but it, it just has a natural, earthy, um, pungent smell to it, okay? So, now these are going to stay in the refrigerator. I'm going to marinate them for about 24 hours, okay, before I start cooking them. Now, if you're in a rush and you're going to do this yourself, you know, just marinate it for about an hour and you're good, okay? About an hour, you know. 
and then you cook it. But I'm going 24 hours. Uh, a little bit of this marinade goes a long way, okay? That's why I only use a little bit in the amount. So, two teaspoons that I use is gonna cover that just over a pound, no problem. Now, uh, I did add the canola oil. The reason I added the canola oil is to help the flavor spread around the meat. And also, since I'm gonna be putting it on the grill or smoker, um, I want to reduce the possibility of it sticking, okay? So I'm marinating, marinating it in the oil as well. Now, canola oil is a neutral oil, so it's not gonna have a particular flavor to it, okay? So you don't have to worry about ruining the flavor. The flavor is gonna be from your seasonings or your spices, in this case, are marinated. So I'll see you tomorrow so we can get this on the smoker. Okay, so, you know, my brain meats, where my brain meats work. Uh, the chicken's been marinating for quite a bit. As a matter of fact, it's been marinating for 40 hours. Yeah. Hey, you can go to tw you can go to 48. You know, you can do it for two days, a couple days, a little after. You know, I hit 40 hours. Doesn't matter. Uh, but we're gonna put them out there. I have the chicken separated. Uh, the Walker's wood, hot and spicy, and the grace is hot. Now I have a little tag, a little tag on the um, a cooling rack that the chicken's on, so I can differentiate between which is which. Now the Walker wood has the tags on. So I'll show you that right now. Tiny, just so you can see. All right, so you can see, this is our Grace's right here, our Grace brand, and this is the Walker Wood. So the Walker Wood has these little tags, the aluminum foil tags that I put on the end. So when I'm smoking them, I'll know, or I have a good indicator of which one is which. So that'll help me out. The smoker's percolating right now. When it gets up to temp, we'll put these bad boys on. Here we go. Here we have our Walker's wood, right? Have our Grace coming along quite nicely. We're about two hours in, and we're gonna go for another half hour or so. I'm gonna rotate these one more time before then, in 15 minutes, and then we'll plate up and see what we got. All right, so here we go. Good to go here. We have the Walker's wood right here with the lime. And we have the grace with the lemon. Okay. And we're gonna see what we got. So here we have it. Our chicken wing, our jerk. Hey, Battle of the Wet, part two. It's Walker's Wood, hot and spicy, versus Grace, hot. In a few seconds here, we're gonna test it out, see what we got. And let me know if you agree with me, or... <coughs> Goodness. Let me know if you agree with me, or maybe you don't. But just let me know. But this is my take on it. Um, and I've had Grace before, but I haven't had the hot and spicy walker's wood so this should be interesting if you like this give me a thumbs up if you're not subscribed hey hit the subscribe button click the bell hey our arms are open and we'll leave the light on for you so you can find us even in the dark because we have room also if we're not connected on instagram go to instagram put my name in straw shara look for the great cat and let's connect now let's get on to the review Okay, now the time we've been waiting for, or you've been waiting for, the taste test, okay? The first thing I'm gonna try, um, I also have here my mango sauce, pineapple mango sauce, um, to help curb some of the heat if needed. Uh, you can find that on my channel as well. It's very good, especially if you like the acidity of the pineapple and the mango, you're gonna enjoy this, okay? And if you're eating something that's really spicy, this will help you enjoy it. But now, let's get in to the, we're gonna start with Walker's, no, 
Yeah, we'll start with Walker's wood, okay? The one we have here, we're gonna start with Walker's wood, see what they're working with. And see if we need uh, some of my cool down sauce, okay? Here we go, Walker's wood. Okay. Feel the heat. A little bit of heat. Not much. Not yet, anyway. Cooked to perfection. Of course, I did it. What are you talking about? Come on. Mmm. It's nice. Walker's wood is nice. I can see why they have a following. Earthy. It's not overly spicy, right? So if you're not big on spice, you can handle this. You can handle this. Of course, it's a little um, hotter than the mild, but it's not gonna melt your face off. This is not melt, melt your face off heat, okay? So I would imagine if they use scotch bonnets or pimento peppers, well, pimento peppers don't really have a, a, a heat level, but if they use a scotch bonnets, I don't think they put the seeds in this one because it's not that hot like it should be because scotch bonnets come in at about 350,000 scobles, just like the habanero, okay? And you know me, I do enjoy a good habanero minus the seeds. Because the seeds and the placenta mess up my stomach. So I don't know why. So we're going to try another Walker's wood. And to help clean the palate, we're going to dip it in our cooling sauce. Okay? Yep. Y'all didn't see that, but I totally tipped it. And just it's all over the counter. Mama Shaw looking at me right now smiling because she can't wait to get on me about it. Because I be riding her like a thoroughbred when she make a mess. Here we go. What can I say? In the cooling sauce. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I gotta clean this up. If y'all hear some shenanigans in the background, it's Mama Charles, she's doing laundry. She has picked to do it on the one time of the day that I'm filming here. Even though I'm only gonna be filming for a couple minutes, she picked that time to uh, do that. But anyway, back to it. Now, now we're gonna try the Grace's version with the lemons. Now, lemons are garnished. I didn't squeeze it on there because I wanted to get the full uh, flavor. Now. The Walker's Wood and both the Grace, they both have lemon juice and lime juice in them. So, it did. It wouldn't really have mattered if I had squirted, but I'm not going to do it. Let's try the Grace's out here. Okay. The Grace's, after tasting the walker's wood the grace there's a little bit of heat but it's not really much at all really it's almost missing grace is something you can give the kids right in my opinion if the kids eat takis and so forth you can give them the grace Great smile, great talk, don't matter. Now, I'm gonna try the Grace 
with my mango sauce. With the cooling sauce. Okay. It's actually better. <coughs> oh, well, hold on. Hit my sciences. But the grace is actually better with the sauce. <coughs> oh, goodness. Trying to make me take that back. Grace came for me. Went my sciences. But because grace is not that spicy, it works well with the sauce. Now, grace, however, has a slow burn. Okay, so the more you eat it, it's gonna slowly heat up in your mouth. Okay, where the Walker's wood, well, you can get it immediately, right? But it dies off very quickly. So having tasted them both, I say as far as the Flavor wise, if you're looking for something just to give anybody that happens to come over, go Grace. You can't go wrong. But now if you have a spice head or somebody like spicy stuff, this victory goes to Walker's Wood, okay? Grace is more fruity, flavorful, but Walker's Wood hit you with that heat and you'll enjoy it. Just have a cooling down sauce for it and you, you'll love it. Having said that, thanks for watching. I know this is part two. Hey, if there are any jerk seasonings, we're going for wet right now. Any wet jerk seasonings, we're not talking about dry spices, the wet ones that you want me to try out and compare these other ones, put them in a the challenge. Let me know in the comments below. Now I'll see if I can accommodate you with that. That being said, thanks for watching. Hey, Shraw Shraw, I'm out. I enjoyed this. See you in the next video.